Hi folks, I'm glad you can join me today. I'm over here in Jackson Hole on the National Elk Refuge. I drew one of those coveted buffalo tags over here on the refuge. Now this elk refuge is probably the crown jewel of the refuge system in the United States. They will feed over 6,000 head of elk here, and these elk come from 70 miles up in Yellowstone down here to winter. And it's quite a treat that we're able to hunt down here and, and uh, see all these elk that uh, <clears throat> have come in here for the, for the winter. I grew up here. I used to come out when I was in high school and help them feed elk out here and the guys would stop the feeding uh, sleigh and I'd be able to take photos. Gosh, that was back into the 60s and it's just uh, a great thing to come here and hunt 50 years later and uh, be able to see all these bull elk that are out here. You know, these buffalo were kind of introduced back in uh, the 60s. Back then they had uh, a compound out here by the uh, fish hatchery where they put uh, some elk in so the tourists could look at them in, this, in the summertime. And one time they got two great big old bulls in there. And when the rut cut, come in uh, September, those two bulls fought until one killed the other. So they thought, well, maybe we can't do that. So then what they did is they went over to the state park in Thermopolis and got uh, 15 or so buffalo and put them in that compound. And the tourists would come into Jackson Hole and drive up there and then they could look at these uh, buffalo. One night, some guys went out and cut the fence and let all the buffalo out and they kind of uh, migrated up into Teton Park and they stayed up there for, I bet you, 20 years and of course they propagated. And then one time uh, a few of them came down here on the elk refuge in the winter time, saw there was free groceries and so they told every, every other buffalo. And so then they have these free running uh, buffalo hunts down here to kind of manage them. And I was lucky enough to get a cow buffalo permit. So tomorrow we'll go on a, a buffalo hunt. I'm looking, really looking forward to it. Well, folks, we've been looking out here and we found a really good group of buffalo out here. They got quite a few cows in it and there's a couple really good ones. So we're going to load the horses up, get on them, and they're about, oh, a mile and a half out here towards the canyon and we're gonna get as close as we can with the horses, and then we're gonna get off and we're gonna walk and stalk. So, uh, Tim, let's, uh, let's get the other horse and uh, get my gun, and here we go, folks. We're going on a spot and stalk for a buffalo. It's a fair chase out here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Clouds are moving in fast now, and Mike and his good friend, Tim Treffern Jr., are as well. Now let's see if Mike's quest to put a load of wild game meat in the freezer for the winter pays off. Get up to this hump right here and that'll give us a good shot of the cow.
I did it. I want to tell you that these buffalo, even a cow like this, are tough. I'm surprised how much they can take. It was great. Tim Teffron here has kind of guided me and never been on one of these. It's always been a, a dream of mine to take a fair chase buffalo. We'll go over there and take a look at her and, and now the real work begins on her. So we'll see what we have here. Wow, folks, looks like a nice mature cow. I'll bet you she's gonna be good eating. Got, got some horn here. Nice. Look at here, folks, look at this. That's gonna make a beautiful rug. She's about, Tim told me about four years old. Gonna be good eating. And I'm gonna have a, a skull uh, European and put it on the wall and uh, my wife wants this rug up there in the in the den so we'll get the horses and drag the sucker out. Mike and Tim are planning to use a little horsepower to their advantage. Hunters are required to use one of the two certified outfitters to retrieve a bison on the National Elk Refuge and Tim is one of those outfitters. Well, fellas, it looks like you might need a little bigger horse or a lighter buffalo. Woohoo, that was close. Okay, we'll just kind of lead him up through there. And the easy way to do this, Mike, is just to get on the side of him. This hunt just goes to show us all that the hunt is not always about the trophy on the wall. At the end of the day, loading a freezer full of good, healthy wild game meat is about as important a task as there is, and the Eastman family is no exception. Well, folks, we had a great hunt out here. Uh, we showed up and the buffalo were kind of moving around and uh, we had to make quite a stock. How far did you think we went there, Tim? Oh, we probably went three quarters of a mile to a mile. Yeah, sludging through this crusted snow and, and we got right pretty close within 150 yards of the herd. The herd opened up and this beautiful cow was standing there all by herself. That was it. Why don't you tell the folks kind of uh, how these hunts out here go? Generally, the, the, you know, the buffalo hunt doesn't normally get good until after Christmas time. And the hunt, the hunt goes from August 15th until the middle of January. And so you've got about a, a three to four week window there where the hunt really gets good. And, you know, unfortunately it's snowing, it's snowy and cold, but, but uh, that's part of the adventure. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I came uh, late. The season's almost over. Uh, very few people out here. They have already tagged out and we have the whole country to ourselves basically. These buffalo really, really got the wool on them at this time of year, don't they, Tim? Yeah, they do. You know, there's, when, when, when you're hunting buffalo, the hide is definitely part of the trophy. It's to, for me, it's a once in a lifetime tag, even a cow tag, free running uh, buffalo, free ranging out here. Uh, most of the time they're up there in the uh, wilderness and the national forest and then this time of year they come down in the valleys to winter and and that's when the best time to hunt them, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, I guess we're going to have to uh, skin this thing out, get it to the locker and uh, I'm glad you joined us today on this hunt and remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next week on the Eastman's Hunting TV Show.